Curtis Black, some of y'all may know from Ken, Ken, Ken Roosevelt. Uh, his father, Cameron Black, is the head basketball coach there. His brother plays for Bowling Green, six foot ten. This is Curtis Black, first year playing football. He was a basketball player and still is a basketball player, but uh, if you read a recent article in the paper, one of his friends lost a leg in, a, in an accident, and he promised to be able to play football for him, became an All-State player. He's six foot four, 330 pounds, and he's a punishing blocker. Uh, very good family, great bloodlines, great family, uh, and uh, he is a offensive lineman who is coming in here to join us from Kent Roosevelt. Another line we recruit, uh, Hassan. Osborne from Hudson. Again, he's six foot four, three hundred pounds, and we're thrilled about him. Again, got the the body and the size. Unlike, I mean, we we knew when we came here, we would find linemen like we have not seen in Alabama or any of the southern states. The number of linemen we have up here that we can't even come close to finding in a lot of the states that I've been recruited down there are here. These are all within thirty minutes of our school, 30, 40 minutes of of of, of Akron that we feel like are very very good linemen. When you talk about these three, Curtis Black and Kevin Mills and, and uh, Quisson Osborne. Andrew Pratt from Green, 6'5", 205 wide receiver. We're excited, extremely excited about Andrew. Andrew uh, quit playing football after about eighth grade so we could focus on basketball. He was 6'4". When he was young, he thought he was going to be his dad's 6'7". He thought he was going to grow into a Division I basketball recruit. He said when he found out he was going to be short, he uh, stuck with football at five foot five. I get offended when he says six foot five is short. <laughs> but he is six five, two oh five. And if you watch the NFL, these are the kind of guys that you're hoping to hit on. Get man, he has great skills. He's a two hundred man in the state track meet, four hundred man. Got outstanding running ability. Uh, but he's not one of those guys that you're projecting to grow into a tight end. He's going to stay as a wide receiver uh, that runs very, very well. And, of course, Green, as you know, right down south of us, just right down the road there. And uh, and uh, my brother Jeff, who's been able to coach some outstanding receivers in the NFL, is real excited about that type of range. As corners, if you find the best corners, they tend to be shorter, than there, and he's going to be hopefully be able to line up on some corners. Again, when you come in, and I, and I mentioned earlier that you do a little bit of ambulance chasing. You, you chase guys that everybody else has put on their list, and you try to grab your one visit on, on players that were evaluated by two or three of your opponents to be good enough to play. Uh, and then there are others that, uh, that also were uh, had visits, and, and, and Curtis Black had, had offers at other back schools. But we saw him as one that, uh, that under his circumstances, he would be one that would be more of a diamond in the rough because of the fact that he had not played, and his upside would be on the top end because of the fact that he'd only played one year of football. Um, you got to remember his dad's, he's, he's a son of a, of a coach, and he's got great – Family, I mean, skills in their family as far as his ability. To, he's a starting basketball player at six foot four, three hundred thirty pounds, and his brother is six foot ten. So this could be stop at six foot five or six foot six. But I think when you see, and then Pratt was also. I just think both those guys were guys that uh, there was a reason they might not have been as heavily recruited uh, because of the fact that they were legitimate basketball players or in some other sport for a reason, and so. Uh, um, I think in, in regard to, to, to Pratt, Pratt, that's probably a bigger a bigger reason because he was really coming off of uh, maybe out of the uh, under the radar than uh, even Curtis Black was because of the fact he had played basketball only. And of course, Black's a big, big football-looking guy, you know. And uh, um, so that that did help us. The fact that.